How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of Von Trapp up in this piece in the form of their Pilsner. I have had this before. I've had this before at the brewery a couple times, actually, but I've never had it locally. Um, we're doing the whole self-distancing, quarantine, COVID thing, and I've been doing um, curbside pickup at local bottle shops, and I wanted some Pilsner. And I try to switch it up. You know, I could always go for... Um, uh, Rothouse Pills, um, they usually have that. I dig that quite a bit. Uh, I will always be happy with, um, uh, you know, just a really well-made Pilsner in general. You know what I mean? Pilsner, Arkell, whatever. Um, but I saw this kind of pop up when I typed in Pilsner, so I was kind of intrigued because I haven't had a McCain yet. So we're going to dive right in. It is a Bohemian-style Pilsner, so Czech Pils, a uh, little Austria, a lot of Vermont. Uh, Von Trapp Brewing, still Vermont. Those who don't know, it's like right around the corner from uh, The Alchemist and a bunch of great breweries up there. It says, brewed in the grounds of the Von Trapp Lodge in Stowe, Vermont. This lager is crafted with the finest um, traditional ingredients in our pure Vermont spring water. 5.4% alcohol by volume. Now on here it has open. So Best Buy um, date of 8-23-20. My guess is that this was canned... No, I could be wrong. I was going to be like a year. I, th I figured I'd give a year for the Pilsner. I could be wrong. But being that we are now in month four um, of 2020, this could be because it's either going to be six or 12 months. Let's hope it is a six month can on date, but I'd go closer to, to uh, 12. But here's the thing. I have not seen this at the bottle shop that I frequent quite a bit. The one that I'm doing uh, curbside pickup. So before... We started doing strictly curbside. I haven't seen it. I would have picked it up otherwise. So we're going to dive into it and see what she's got. Uh, Von Trapp is probably one of my favorite stops when I'm up in Vermont, especially in the Stowe area. Just full of crusher beers and a nice old kind of classic kind of beer hall kind of setting. Um, what is not to like about that? And uh, the food's pretty good, to be perfectly honest with you, too. They have, like, um, I usually go up there. When I go up there with my buddy Keith or somebody like that, they have kind of, like, a ve vegetarian-friendly options, too. I just dig it. Uh, Label-wise, I mean, it's classic kind of German-style can art. Not going to hate on it. And as far as a Czech Pills goes, I mean, soft carbonation, two fingers, infinitely creamy, yet rocky on the edge kind of head. I mean, she looks the part of a nice Pilsner. She's even got a nose without snorting too much foam here. Oh, man, that's got a nice, sweet Pilsner malt to it. Um, yeah, uh, it's got a nice bready, not bready, crackery kind of Pilsner malt going on in it. Um, nice sweetness to it. It's not heavy. It smells like a crispy beer. Um, you know, a lot of times, um, you know, traditional Pilsners don't, aren't necessarily a crispy boy kind of thing. A lot of people just think of Pilsner, think crispy boy. There is some half to a lot of Pilsners. Some do it on that lighter side, some don't. But this has this nice Pilsner malt leading away. A little bit of soft bittering. I mean, really not much to it. If anything, I'm getting maybe a little bit of like subtle like melon rindiness off of it or something like that. But it's really malt driven. Nice cream crisp crispness. A little, little, bare, barely, barely there touch of a kind of um, lager kind of funkiness. Done and done. Let's just dive in. Cheers. Ooh, way more bittering than I thought it was going to come out, as to be perfectly honest with you. Especially when you're dealing with the check pills. Not that they can't be bittering, um, but this has a little bit of an extra pop to it. Um, very much akin to like what you get from Rothouse pills. I believe that's a little bit more on the bittering side when it comes to like more traditional Pilsner. Um, and that's a traditional Pilsner, so I shouldn't say that it's not traditional. Um, I mean, it's tasty. It gives you that nice, sweet kind of uh, Pilsner malt. That crisp cleanness definitely pops you with that nice bittering tannic tea like kind of bittering, like herbal kind of bittering. Um, but then washes away pretty clean, leaves relatively dry, nice and crisp. Super drinkable. It's probably a little bit warmer than it should be drank too. Um, 42 IBUs in a small beer, 5.4% Pilsner. So it is, you know, not that IBUs are the end all be all of bittering, but you put those two together and kind of makes sense. I like it. I think it's fantastic. Listen, I got a six pack because I wanted a crispy pills to chug. I haven't reviewed it yet. That's why we're reviewing it. I've enjoyed it at the brewery, but it's it's one of those things where it's like you're not quite sure how beer is going to translate, especially something 
as light as this. And uh, no, it's done really well. Um, exactly what I wanted. I got a six pack of this. These are going to go down infinitely easy and kind of uh, making me kind of happy right now. I mean, it's uh, beyond that bittering kind of jumping up a little bit more than um, what I was expecting. Um, there's really not much to it that kind of differentiates itself from like a classic Czech style of Pilsner. That's not a negative. Some people might view that as a negative. Oh, it tastes like a Czech style Pilsner. No, it tastes like a Czech style Pilsner with that added little bonus of bittering kind of an American way when it comes to these Pilsners. So it works out really nice. It ends up being probably a little bit more impactful of a Pilsner. So, you know, being 5.4% and that bittering being a little bit high, it might not be classic session uh, beer, but at the same time, definitely nothing uh, to shake a, a ram's head at. Uh, so let's talk about it. It's one of the better Pilsners I've had as of late. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think it's King Shit of Fuck Mountain status, but it is absolutely delicious and something I am happy I have five more left of. Um, value and availability, I think I paid some 10 bucks for a sixer of this all day. Thank you very much. Let's go there for a second, though. I could probably get a, um, a, a six pack of, let's see, Pilsner or Kel. Eh? Probably for like nine bucks, so it's really not that much more expensive. So that's pretty cool. And leave you with if you oh, availability. If you see these guys, you'll probably be able to get it. And leave you with if you like what we like the spear. If you like traditional pilsner, but you want a little bit more of a pop. Again, I say that with a little bit of kind of hesitance because Rot House is definitely on this level bitterness wise. So there is some variance within the style. But if you like the skew, a little bit more bittering, not super super kind of chill. I guess you'd say worth picking up. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive. Want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little Pilsner right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.